Hi everyone and welcome to this short video where I will show you how to start drawing using hatching technique. I will show you how to start hatching with graphite pencil. If you, you've never drawn before, don't worry, everyone can with a little bit of practice do this. So I will be using three different kinds of graphite pencils. So the HB, the 2B and the 5B. If you have something close to that, similar to that, that is absolutely fine. So the HB is sharper and lighter. The 2B is something in between. So it's soft and a little bit darker. And then the 5B is even softer and even darker. You don't need to have from HB up until 10B. These three are very manageable to get to, cheap, and you can draw almost anything with the combination of these. So with HB I'm going to do this linear hatching. It's where I'm placing a lot of lines very close to each other. And every time I do a line, I let the pencil leave the paper. So they're forming together a clean area of tone. Cross hatching is when I just draw the linear hatching on top in another angle, just like this. And the last form of hatching that I'll be using is contour hatching. It's a series of shorter hatchings on top again of everything that I have built underneath. And they are a little bit more shaping whatever it is that I'm going to draw. I will show it later. How not to hatch. So this is how not to hatch, to have a lot of spacing in between each of the hatchings will make it so that the hatching cannot work as a unity. They're just simply too far apart. Or if we don't let the pencil leave the paper every time we do a hatching or smudging. These three things I highly recommend that you do not do. It will simply make your drawing messy. I recommend that you try and use all of the graphite pencils. Just try them out using the hatching not to draw any objects, but simply just filling out a piece of paper, practicing drawing this kind of way, because it takes practice if you're not used to it. Another practice would be to draw circles. So drawing circles on a piece of paper, you go round and round until they're round and you draw many of them in many different sizes. This will train your motor skills, being more precise with your hand. So you're practicing drawing straight lines when you do the hatchings, and then you're practicing drawing circles. This is a great warm up also before you start drawing anything else. And do try with all the different kinds of pencils. So here I'm showing you how to draw a simple sphere using hatching technique. I'm both using the linear hatching, the cross hatching and the contour hatching. I highly recommend that when you start drawing, you practice drawing from life. Choose very simple objects such as the sphere or a box or a cylinder. And then when you have trained enough, you can choose a little bit more trying objects such as the apple, for example, that I'm showing here. Again, I'm using only hatching techniques. Keep practicing and you'll soon see improvement. For more videos, keep following us here on YouTube, on Instagram, or go to our webpage animationworkshop.via.dk and see all the amazing courses in animation and in classical drawing. 
keep on drawing and have a beautiful day.